For Zion's sake, will I not hold my peace? And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. The word of the Most High revealed to his people that Satan deceived the whole world. The extreme measures the kingdom of darkness took to carry out this plan was not done overnight. It took generational conditioning of the indigenous black people to get them in the state they are in. Satan started the deception from the very beginning. The scripture says Satan deceived Eve and Adam in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Due to the stronghold Satan has over the indigenous black people, when they hear the truth that is meant to set them free, some indigenous black people would try to stone you to death for the truth. Satan has blinded their eyes and closed their ears that they cannot hear. Only the Most High can renew the minds of his people. The delusion is strong among the indigenous black people. Israelites, that is why it is important to not conform to the ways of this world, Allow the Most High to transform you by the renewal of your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If the Most High do not renew the minds of his people, the indigenous black people will continue to defend their enemies. Throw their own people under the bus to save their oppressors. In addition, act surprised when they are experiencing racism and discrimination in the B system. Because of the stronghold Satan has over their minds, the indigenous black people are quick to dismiss the wicked ways of the other species of mankind. Some indigenous black people act as if the serpent seed doesn't have a history of being savages. This is what happens when the God of this world blind their eyes. Due to sin and iniquity, many indigenous black people are separated from the Most High. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Israelites, the process of the kingdom of darkness changing the names of the chosen people from Israelites to Jew, saints, Gentile, and Christians in the scriptures took several generations to accomplish. The synagogue of Satan gradually altered the scriptures and renamed certain geographical locations to support the deception. Before the kingdom of darkness altered the scriptures, Satan had to replace the people the Most High created in his image and breathe the breath of life to make them a living being. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. The process the kingdom of darkness used to change the appearance of the indigenous black people in certain regions, Satan sent the European male all over the world to colonize land. Once they arrived, the European male took advantage of the indigenous black women in those lands. The indigenous black people have a different appearance from the offspring of the watchers. The indigenous black people are the blueprint to the human species. 
because the children of the watchers are of a different species from the human species, the children born from the abominable union alter the appearance of the people in the colonial territories. The synagogue of Satan wants to hide this part of history by ignoring the behavior of the European male. However, the scriptures expose their behavior long before the act was carried out. The scriptures identify those children as tares. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. The kingdom of darkness used the tares to change the appearance of the indigenous black people all over the world. Once the population of the tares increased, the tares inherited the indigenous black people's land and identity. To further increase the population of the serpent seed, Satan created the caste system to encourage the tares to procreate within. We all know in the beast system, Europeans are praised while the indigenous black people are vilified. Until this day, many tares live by the mentality of procreating white to better their lives. Most people do not know by the third and fourth generation, the tares become either a full-blooded person from the other species of mankind or indigenous black person. You often see the Most High use the fourth generation to do his will. By the fourth generation, the infiltration is destroyed. And the Lord said unto Jehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in mine eyes, and hast done unto the house of Ahab according to all that was in mine heart, thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. The workers of iniquity in the beast system is aware that by the fourth generation, the person is no longer indigenous. That is why the caste system is in place. The synagogue of Satan discriminate and place low value on dark skin to create self-hate. Once self-hate is rooted in a person, it will motivate the biracial, quadroon, and octoroon to procreate with the people that is considered superior and appearance is accepted in the B system. The kingdom of darkness used colorism in the indigenous black community to encourage the indigenous black people to erase themselves. The population of the terrors are on the rise due to the indigenous black people's self-hate and disobedience to the most high. The scripture said the sin of rebellion is like witchcraft. Indigenous black people who bewitch you. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you. Religion bewitch you. Religion is idolatry and sorcery. Once the kingdom of darkness accomplished replacing the indigenous black people with the serpent seed, they alter the scriptures to change the narrative of the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan renamed places to correspond with the new group of people that dwell in the regions that are prominent in the scriptures. Altering the scriptures is not the only significant crimes the synagogue of Satan has done to the Bible. Splitting the Bible into two to create the New and Old Testament is how Satan is sitting in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Dividing the Bible into the Old Testament and New Testament gave the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to get creative. Splitting the scriptures in that manner does not only cause confusion, but further conceal the identity of the serpent seed. Additionally, the other species of mankind was able to insert themselves into the scriptures to further remove the indigenous black people. If you accept religion's perspective of the scriptures, black people do not exist in the scriptures. The same way black people's contribution in history does not exist in the B system. Everything revolve around Europeans in the B system. If you belong to the world, it will love you and accept you as its own. Because the Most High chose the indigenous black people, the beast system hate them, just as they hate the Most High. If the world hate you, 
ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. The chosen people, the most high and the geographical location of events documented in the Old Testament change significantly in the New Testament. How can the chosen people be called after the Most High in the Old Testament? However, in the New Testament, their names change multiple times. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We know the chosen people are called after the Most High. What God are the Jews, saints, Gentiles, and Christians that are introduced to us in the New Testament are called after? The Israelites and many other bloodlines in the scriptures are named after the progenitor of that bloodline, the Father. That is how the Most High identified his creation. Race was invented in the beast system by the Europeans. Race does not identify a person. Race is based on skin color and place of birth. The origin of race is to cause confusion. Bloodlines identify a person. The Most High made his people in his image and likeness to separate his creation from the other species of mankind. The Most High selected a specific family clan to be a father to and called these people by his name. They shall come with weeping, and with supplication will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. It is the tradition of the Most High and His people to name cities and their children after themselves, their fathers, and Elohim. The New Testament introduced to us a people that have names that cannot be traced to a progenitor of any other bloodlines in the scriptures. It is safe to say that the new characters introduced to us in the New Testament are named after a different God. The New Testament is centered around Jesus. According to church doctrines, not the scriptures, because the scriptures do not support the church doctrines. Jesus is God in the flesh. Therefore, Jesus is the God of the New Testament. The Elohim of Israel is not the God being served in the New Testament. The Jews, saints, Gentile, and Christians are called after Jesus. Jesus is known as the Jewish Messiah in religion. The saints, Gentiles, and Christians are followers of Jesus in the New Testament. The scriptures warn us about the Messiah that came in his own name and the world accepted. The Messiah that came in the Father's name, the world rejected him. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John chapter 5 verse 43 revealed there are two Messiahs. The Messiah sent in the Father's name and the Messiah that came in his own name. The world received and accepted the Messiah that came in his own name. The Most High is consistent in everything he does. Even the Messiah he sent is called after his name. The Most High created a people in his image and likeness and called his people after his name. Once the people of the Most High rebelled and lost their way, the Most High promised to send a Messiah to help his people understand his statutes, commandments, and laws. In addition, return to serving the Most High. The humble Messiah made it known that he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The humble Messiah was indeed rejected in the beast system and hidden in the scriptures. The Holy Spirit must open your eyes to find the humble Messiah in the New Testament. The false Messiah has taken over the New Testament. The false Messiah assumed the identity of the true Messiah that came in the Father's name and the identity of the Most High in the New Testament. There is only one group of people in this world that did the same thing as the false Messiah of the New Testament. Not only did these people and the false Messiah committed identity theft, they also share the same appearance and reside in the size of the North. 
the false messiah claimed to be God in the flesh, which correspond with Satan's desire to be like the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Through identity theft, Satan is sitting in the mount of the congregation in the size of the north to be like the Most High. The false messiah Jesus shared the same image as the Europeans that come from the north. The name Gentile, Saint, Jew, and Christians are traced back to the other species of mankind. The indigenous black people adapted those names when they were forced to accept religion. The scripture said the Messiah sent in the Father's name was rejected. The scriptures described the humble Messiah to share similar appearance with the people whom the world has rejected, the indigenous black people. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they had burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Israelites, I hope this message is helping you understand duality. Satan imitates everything the Most High does to deceive. The prophets in the Old Testament had names that are closely related to the Most High and people from Africa, Zechariah, Obadiah, Nehemiah, and Isaiah. All the names end in I-A-H. Today, we translate I-A-H to Yah. Those prophets were called after the Most High. The other species of mankind call themselves European, Asian, and many other names that are not found in the scriptures. The new names such as Mary, John, Peter, Matthew, Mark, and Paul are of European origin. It's obvious the kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to alter the scriptures to include the other species of mankind. The workers of iniquity are not aware they were fulfilling the scriptures that was spoken in the book of Maccabees. The heathens laid open the book of the law to paint the likeness of their images. The kingdom of darkness split the Bible into two testaments to better insert the other species of mankind into the scriptures. Instead of calling the chosen people by their bloodline name Israelite, the workers of iniquity remove Israelite in the New Testament and replace Israelite with Jew. When the people read the scriptures, they automatically associate Jew with the modern day Jewish people. The Jewish people living in Israel today and the Israelites of the Bible are not the same people. In some scriptures, the chosen people name interchange with saint, Christian, and Gentile. The new name Jew was inserted into the scriptures in the 18th century. Prior to the 18th century, you won't find the name Jew in the scriptures. The Most High called Jacob, the progenitor of the Israelite bloodline, Israel. His descendants are known as Israelites. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. Some people believe Jew is short for Judah or Jew represents the southern kingdom of Judah. That is false. The New Testament referred to the entire 12 tribe of Israel as Jew. That is also incorrect. Each tribe have their own name. The name given to the 12 tribe was Israel or Israelite. Too many Israelites are identifying themselves as Jewish in the awakening. Judaism and the Israelites are of two different worlds. Judaism is a religion just like Christianity. The people who practice Judaism are known as Jews. The synagogue of Satan has done a phenomenal job of combining these two groups to further deceive the people. If the Jewish people were truly descendants of the Israelites in the scriptures, they would have called themselves Israelites just as the Most High named his people. Saint is another popular name the synagogue of Satan used to cut off the name Israelite in the B system. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. No Israelite should accept to be called Saint, Jew, Gentile, or Christian. That is not the name given to you. 
these names were inserted into the scriptures. None of those names identify your bloodline. Saints are statues I've seen the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan worship in the Roman Catholic Church. I've never heard the Most High refer to his prophets or chosen people as saints in the Old Testament. Like the Israelites of the scriptures, the indigenous black people are the only group of people whose name change frequently in the beast system. When you analyze the name changes, the indigenous black people endured throughout history. The goal of the workers of iniquity was to conceal who they are according to the scriptures. The workers of iniquity in the beast system hide the indigenous black people's name, bloodline, and legacy to prevent them from claiming any inheritance in the beast system. Only the serpent seed has inherited the wealth of the indigenous black people all over the world. Just like Pharaoh and Mizraim descendants gave the Israelites all their wealth before leaving the land of Mizraim, at the appointed time, the Most High will cause the Israelites to leave the land of their captivity with the heathens' wealth. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled the Egyptians. The scripture also said the wealth of the heathens are stored up for the people of the Most High. The other species of mankind are temporary custodians. Once the people of the Most High repent and return to the Most High, everything stolen will be restored. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. When a thief is caught, he must restore sevenfold of what was stolen. As the people of the Most High cry out during these times, remember to ask the Most High to command the thieves to restore what was stolen. Speak the word of the Most High back to him, Israelites. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Israelites, the Most High never changed his people's name to Jew, Gentile, Saint, or Christian. These names in the scriptures were inserted when the synagogue of Satan altered the scriptures. Religion prolonged the deception by promoting a new narrative in the so-called New Testament. The kingdom of darkness used the serpent seed to carry out Satan's will in the physical realm. Bloodline is the only way to identify the people that were made in the image of the Most High. Each bloodline is called after the progenitor of that bloodline. Despite of the alterations done to the scriptures, the Most High will use his spirit to reveal truth to his people. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Israelites and indigenous black people, race does not identify a person. Race identify your skin color according to the standards of the workers of iniquity in the beast system. The indigenous black people's skin color is brown, not black. Race does not reveal your legacy, heritage, inheritance, and bloodline. That is why the kingdom of darkness used race in the beast system to devastate the indigenous black people. The names Saint, Christian, Jew, and Gentile in the scriptures are not the names the Most High gave to his chosen people or the heathen nations of the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan removed Israelite out of the New Testament to cause confusion. Also, to give the serpent seed the inheritance of the chosen people in the beast system. The Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The Most High did not give the other species of mankind any inheritance. All dominion was given to the indigenous black people. Through stealing the identity of the indigenous black people, the Messiah and the Most High in religion, Satan was able to give the serpent seed the indigenous black people's land, culture, legacy, name, and everything that belongs to the indigenous black people. The dominion the Most High gave to his people was transferred to the serpent seed. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. 
The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Since the world was given into the hands of the wicked, who are the people ruling the world today? The other species of mankind whitewash the scriptures and history to hold claim of land and culture that don't belong to them. They are quick to say they are of this bloodline and that bloodline. None of them are called after the progenitor of the bloodline. When a people is conquered, the new regime takes over and set up their own governments and practice their own traditions. The other species of mankind did just that. They serve their idols and create their laws, establish their own names while claiming the indigenous black people's identity. None of the heathen nations that dwell in the sides of the north and the isles of the Gentiles are called after Japhath and his descendants. Which of Noah's sons does the nation of France trace back to? However, when you see a nation called Ethiopia, this nation is spoken about in the scriptures. You can identify which of Noah's sons the Ethiopian people descend from. There are no confusion about these people because the Ethiopian people preserve their bloodline by retaining their father's name. It's a major red flag to claim to be the people of the scriptures, but the fruit you produce does not align. The synagogue of Satan will continue to change names, location, and alter the scriptures to continue to deceive the people. The scriptures did not say Satan tried to deceive the whole world. The scriptures said, Satan deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. When the Most High began to open your eyes, the people of the Most High will begin to see how deep the deception go. Israelites, just because the kingdom of darkness alter the scriptures and change your name every decade, the synagogue of Satan dismiss your wisdom. The word of the Most High will not return void. When the Most High renew your mind, what was unseen will become visible. It doesn't matter what the other species of mankind believe. What did the Most High say about you, Israelites and indigenous black people? Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel.